Trump against China. Donald Trump has announced plans to impose an additional 10% tariff on all imports from China. This would build on existing duties established during his first administration, which were aimed at addressing what the U.S. perceives as challenges in its trade relationship with China. The proposed tariffs encompass a wide range of products including consumer electronics, machinery, textiles, and other critical imports that play a significant role in U.S.-China trade. These measures are positioned as part of a broader U.S. strategy to address economic and strategic concerns, including trade imbalances and supply chain vulnerabilities. If enacted, this policy shift could significantly impact the dynamics of U.S.-China trade, with potential consequences for both economies and global markets. The U.S. administration has articulated two primary reasons for proposing these tariffs, addressing perceived economic imbalances and mitigating risks to national security. The U.S. government has long expressed concerns about the trade deficit with China, which exceeded $300 billion in 2023. The administration views this as a structural challenge, believing it reflects uneven trade dynamics that may disadvantage U.S. industries. Additionally, U.S. officials have emphasized the importance of fostering a level playing field for businesses. From the U.S. perspective, China's domestic policies, including state support for key industries, have created competitive challenges for American companies in the global market. The proposed tariffs aim to encourage domestic production and reduce reliance on imported goods. The U.S. sees reducing dependence on imported goods, particularly in critical sectors such as technology and infrastructure, as essential for economic resilience and security. Officials have highlighted the need to diversify supply chains and prioritize domestic manufacturing as a safeguard against potential vulnerabilities. Tariffs are seen as one component of a larger strategy to secure supply chains and ensure that critical industries are less exposed to external risks. The reimposition of tariffs, as indicated by recent political developments, is expected to have a significant adverse impact on the U.S. economy, with American agriculture poised to bear the brunt. Farmers, already struggling to regain market share lost during previous trade disputes, face increasing competition from Brazil and other countries that have capitalized on the void left by the U.S. in critical agricultural markets. In this video, we will examine the implications of tariff-driven trade wars, focusing on their impact on American farmers, key commodities, and broader economic consequences. During Donald Trump's first administration, a trade war with China resulted in a sharp decline in American agricultural exports, particularly soybeans. Exports to China, the world's largest soybean importer, fell by 79% in the first two years, causing an $11 billion loss for American soybean farmers. Although financial aid to farmers mitigated some immediate effects, the structural damage to market relationships was profound. China diversified its import sources, turning primarily to Brazil, which has since emerged as a dominant player in the global soybean market. Brazil's rapid expansion of soybean acreage, combined with infrastructural improvements, allowed it to fill the gap left by U.S. exporters. The shift also encouraged China to diversify its supply chains for other crops, reducing its reliance on the U.S. for corn, wheat, sorghum, and cotton. The potential reintroduction of tariffs under similar policy frameworks threatens to exacerbate existing challenges. China, once heavily reliant on U.S. soybean imports, has established Brazil as its primary supplier. Over the years, Brazil has aggressively increased its soybean acreage, clearing significant portions of land to meet growing demand, with a projected harvest more than 30% larger than pre-2018 levels. Brazil is set to dominate this market. In addition to diversifying its supply chain, China has built record stockpiles of soybeans, granting it greater independence from U.S. agricultural exports. The low global prices of soybeans have squeezed profit margins for American farmers. Although domestic soybean demand has grown, it is insufficient to offset the significant export losses caused by trade disputes. Tariffs will likely exacerbate this, forcing many smaller-scale farmers to consider alternative crops or risk financial insolvency. Corn and Wheat In recent years, China approved corn imports from Brazil in 2022 and Argentina in 2023, signaling its intent to diversify away from U.S. dependence. Argentina's authorization marked the first major corn and wheat shipments in decades, reducing China's reliance on American grains. Brazil's growing corn exports have capitalized on this shift, particularly as Chinese feed mills now see Brazilian corn as a viable and competitive alternative. 
U.S. corn exports to China, which had been reaching record levels, are now at risk of significant declines. Wheat faces similar challenges, with U.S. exports becoming less competitive as South American suppliers grow their presence in China. For many American farmers who rely on exports to stabilize prices and clear surpluses, these changes could lead to unsold inventories, lower prices, and reduced income. Sorghum U.S. sorghum producers have historically depended on China, the largest consumer of the grain, which uses it for livestock feed and in the production of the liquor Baiju. Over 70% of U.S. sorghum exports go to China annually. However, Brazil's emergence as a sorghum producer with an output of 4.6 million tons is reshaping this dynamic. While Brazil has not traditionally exported significant amounts of sorghum, its growing production capacity is already pressuring U.S. market share. If tariffs are reimposed, China is likely to accelerate its pivot to Brazilian sorghum, further reducing U.S. exports. This will disproportionately affect sorghum growers, who have few alternative markets capable of absorbing the large quantities that currently go to China. Pork While China has been a robust market for U.S. pork, changing dietary habits in China are reducing overall pork consumption. Chinese consumers are increasingly favoring proteins like poultry, beef, and seafood. Even without a trade war, this shift poses a long-term challenge to U.S. pork exporters. In recent years, China has expanded pork imports from Brazil, leveraging its cost-competitive production. As tariffs push Chinese buyers further away from U.S. pork, Brazil stands ready to fill the gap, intensifying competition for American producers. The global cotton trade has undergone significant shifts since the 2018 trade war. China has bolstered its cotton reserves and increased domestic production. Additionally, Brazil and Australia have expanded their market share in China, with Brazil overtaking the U.S. as the top cotton exporter in 2023 to 2024. U.S. cotton, long considered the gold standard for quality, remains highly sought after. However, the added costs from tariffs make American cotton less competitive in price-sensitive markets. A weaker Chinese economy and declining demand for textiles further exacerbate the problem, creating a challenging environment for U.S. exporters. China has effectively used its participation in the BRICS coalition, comprising Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, to diversify its sources of critical imports. In the energy sector, partnerships with Russia and Brazil have secured stable supplies of oil, gas, and other resources, reducing China's reliance on traditional suppliers in North America and the Middle East. Similarly, China has turned to Brazil and South Africa for agricultural imports, including soybeans and meat, ensuring food security and mitigating the risks of supply disruptions from other countries. Let's take a quick pause. Could you do us a favor? If you enjoy our content, please hit the like button. To help even more, leave your thoughts and feedback in the comments. Your engagement helps us grow. By strengthening trade ties within BRICS, China has opened up new markets for its exports. The country has focused on infrastructure projects and technology exports in BRICS nations, enabling it to tap into rapidly growing economies. Additionally, Chinese manufacturers have expanded their customer base for goods such as electronics and machinery, effectively offsetting reduced demand from the U.S. due to tariffs. These export relationships have bolstered China's manufacturing sector and provided steady economic growth opportunities. Mitigating the impact of tariffs and sanctions The imposition of U.S. tariffs on Chinese goods initially posed challenges, but China has successfully mitigated their effects through trade realignment. BRICS partnerships have allowed China to redirect its trade flows, replacing lost markets in North America with increased activity in partner nations. For example, Brazil has become a major supplier of agricultural products, while Russia has provided energy security. These alliances have also enhanced China's supply chain resilience by reducing its dependence on single sources for critical inputs. Economic growth amid restrictions. Rather than hindering progress, U.S. tariffs and sanctions have prompted China to strengthen its economic relationships with BRICS partners, fostering a more resilient and diversified economy. By leveraging its position within the BRICS framework, China has not only maintained but also enhanced its economic trajectory. These efforts have ensured continued growth even in the face of restrictive trade measures, solidifying China's role as a global economic powerhouse. U.S. agricultural policies, particularly the imposition of tariffs, 
have far-reaching effects on both domestic farming operations and global trade dynamics. These policies influence input costs, export competitiveness, and the realignment of global markets. Rising input costs, tariffs on imported goods such as steel and aluminum directly impact the agricultural sector by increasing the costs of essential inputs like machinery and equipment. For instance, the trade conflict between the U.S. and China, initiated in 2018, led to tariffs on these materials, resulting in higher prices for agricultural equipment. Manufacturers faced elevated input costs, which were subsequently passed on to farmers, thereby raising overall production expenses. Reduced export competitiveness, U.S. agricultural commodities including corn, wheat, and sorghum are, well, susceptible to shifts in global trade policies. Retaliatory tariffs imposed by key trading partners have diminished the competitiveness of U.S. exports. A study by the U.S. Department of Agriculture found that retaliatory tariffs reduced U.S. agricultural exports by $27 billion from mid-2018 to the end of 2019, with soybeans accounting for 71% of this decline, followed by sorghum and pork at 7% and 5% respectively. These tariffs incentivize importers to source commodities from alternative suppliers like Brazil and Argentina, which can offer similar products without the added costs associated with tariffs. Global Market Realignment The imposition of tariffs has prompted a realignment in global agricultural trade flows. Countries such as Brazil, Argentina, and Australia have expanded their agricultural sectors to fill the void left by reduced U.S. exports. For example, China's pivot away from U.S. agricultural imports since 2018 has bolstered its food security against potential trade tensions. China has increased imports of grains from Brazil, Argentina, Ukraine, and Australia, significantly decreasing the U.S. quote. S. share in China's soybean and corn imports. This shift not only diminishes the U.S. quote. S. role as a leading exporter but also strengthens the market positions of these alternative suppliers. Tariffs on allies. The United States' imposition of tariffs on countries beyond China, such as Canada, Mexico, and European Union member states, has significant repercussions for the U.S. economy. These tariffs can lead to increased consumer prices, disruptions in supply chains, and retaliatory measures that collectively hinder economic growth. Increased consumer prices. Tariffs function as taxes on imported goods, and the additional costs are often transferred to consumers through higher prices. For instance, President-elect Donald Trump's proposal to impose a 25% tariff on imports from Canada and Mexico, along with an additional 10% on Chinese imports, is anticipated to elevate prices for American consumers. Goods such as fresh produce from Mexico, lumber from Canada, and electronics from China would become more expensive, directly impacting household budgets. Estimates suggest that these tariffs could raise U.S. consumer prices by 0.75%, resulting in over $1,000 in lost purchasing power per household. Supply Chain Disruptions The U.S. economy is deeply integrated with global supply chains, particularly with neighboring countries like Canada and Mexico. Tariffs on imports from these nations can disrupt established supply networks, leading to inefficiencies and increased production costs for U.S. businesses. For example, the automotive industry relies heavily on parts manufactured across North America. Imposing tariffs on Canadian and Mexican imports could increase production costs, potentially adding around $3,000 to the price of a new car, thereby affecting both manufacturers and consumers. Retaliatory measures. Tariffs often provoke retaliatory actions from affected countries, which can further harm the U.S. economy. For instance, in response to U.S. tariffs, Canada and Mexico might impose their own tariffs on American exports, adversely affecting U.S. industries such as agriculture and manufacturing. This tit-for-tat escalation can lead to a trade war, reducing the competitiveness of U.S. products abroad and leading to job losses in key sectors. Analyses indicate that if Canada and Mexico retaliate with similar tariffs, U.S. economic growth could decline by at least 0.3 percent by 2026, with a simultaneous rise in inflation by 0.5 percent in 2025. Impact on Inflation and Economic Growth Tariffs contribute to higher inflation by increasing the cost of imported goods, which can lead to broader price increases across the economy. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen has expressed concerns that sweeping tariffs could derail progress in reducing inflation 
and raise costs for households and businesses. Additionally, higher consumer prices can dampen spending, leading to slower economic growth. Analysts warn that the proposed tariffs could erode the EU's GDP by up to 1.5%, or about 260 billion euros, which would also have adverse effects on the U.S. economy due to interconnected trade relationships. Sector-Specific Impacts Agriculture The United States agricultural sector is heavily reliant on exports, particularly to neighboring countries like Canada and Mexico. These nations account for a significant portion of U.S. agricultural trade under agreements like the USMCA, the United States-Mexico-Canada Agreement. Retaliatory tariffs imposed by Canada and Mexico in response to U.S. tariffs have targeted key agricultural products such as dairy, pork, soybeans, and grains. For example, in 2018, Mexico imposed a 20% tariff on U.S. pork, leading to a 10% decline in U.S. pork exports to the country. Retaliatory tariffs on U.S. soybeans by China redirected demand to Brazil, leaving U.S. farmers with surplus crops and reduced market access. The U.S. Department of Agriculture estimated that retaliatory tariffs contributed to an $11 billion loss in farm income in 2018. Farmers increasingly relied on government subsidies and bailout programs to offset these losses, such as the $28 billion aid package provided by the Trump administration. The imposition of tariffs on raw materials like steel and aluminum has directly impacted U.S. manufacturing. Key industries such as automotive, aerospace, and construction have faced increased production costs due to the higher prices of these essential materials. A study by the Trade Partnership estimated that steel tariffs added nearly $5.6 billion in additional costs to U.S. manufacturing industries in 2018 alone. Automotive manufacturing in particular saw production costs increase by an average of $1,400 per vehicle, affecting profit margins and pricing. Higher costs and reduced competitiveness have led to layoffs in manufacturing sectors reliant on global supply chains. The Peterson Institute for International Economics projected that U.S. tariffs could result in a net loss of over 300,000 manufacturing jobs if retaliatory measures escalate. Retailers that depend on imported goods from tariff-affected countries have had to raise prices to maintain profitability. Tariffs on textiles, apparel, and electronics, for example, have driven up costs for both retailers and consumers. The National Retail Federation estimated that tariffs on Chinese imports alone would cost the average U.S. family $767 annually in higher prices. Higher prices have dampened consumer spending, especially in non-essential categories such as apparel and home goods. Retailers catering to middle- and lower-income households such as Walmart and Target have reported challenges in balancing cost increases without alienating customers. Many retailers have attempted to diversify their supply chains to mitigate the impact of tariffs. However, shifting suppliers to countries like Vietnam or India has proven costly and time-consuming, further affecting profitability. The imposition of tariffs poses significant risks to the U.S. economy, particularly the agricultural sector. The loss of Chinese market share, combined with the aggressive expansion of competitors like Brazil, underscores the challenges American farmers face in a globalized market. Strategic policy interventions, coupled with adaptive farming practices, will be essential to mitigate these adverse effects and ensure the long-term sustainability of U.S. agriculture. The lessons of the first trade war highlight the importance of fostering stable and predictable trade relationships to maintain the U.S. quote, S status as a global agricultural leader. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching this video. We sincerely appreciate you joining us today. If our content resonated with you or sparked inspiration, please consider expressing your support by liking it and subscribing to stay connected with our community. Your support holds immense value for us. You can watch another video of our channel, which is now on the screen.